Do you all remember this? Los beneficios del pan a los beneficiarios. You can hear someone in the audience say, se fue la luz, which is something Puerto Ricans are so used to saying and hearing. Just the other day, I was in the middle of taking a shower and the lights went out and I'm like, se fue la luz. Yes, but when it happened to the governor, it was almost two years ago, and I was thinking back to all the protests that were happening at the time. At that point, some Puerto Ricans have been protesting for more than a year. They even took over the freeway at some point, and they were upset not because power outages were new, but because they were told that things would get better once a private company took over. Now, I've told you before that private company is made up of two companies, one from the US and one from Canada. So the CEO of the Texas-based company came all the way to Puerto Rico and said, I understand why people are upset, but things will get better and he announced the plan. One of the things Luma promised is that they were going to increase the crews on the ground, meaning the people who respond to the outages. Because one of the accusations that Luma has been facing from the very beginning is that they do not have the personnel, specifically linemen, the people who work with the power lines. And in 2022, we found out that they had about half as many as the public utility did when Luma took over. Well, today a local newspaper reported that according to Luma's own documents, they have now even fewer than 400 linemen. Well, this has also happened in the last year. The duration of the outages, meaning how long Puerto Ricans are without power, has gone up by almost 20%. So again, the criticism is if they do not have enough employees who can work with power lines, they will not be able to respond to outages quickly. But here's the depressing part. Right now, there are Puerto Rican linemen who are working as janitors, drivers, or gardeners. These were the linemen who were working under the public utility before Luma took over. And they could have gone to work with Luma, but they would have lost their benefits. So a lot of them chose not to. But they have offered to work again as linemen if they're hired as contractors. But Luma has not accepted. So two years later, the duration of the outages is going up instead of down, and Luma appears to have fewer alignment, not more. But this is how much they've made every year since they've been here, just in profit.